now let me show quickly this one multi select okay dynamic multi select will be seen directly static multi select you can see see all the other things are one and the same okay radio all the one and thing all the other things are one and the same like this you can always whatever i'm showing uh, in similar fashion you can always practice okay that is the thing so dynamic dynamic multi select so ms underscore dynamic okay is the name i am going to give some name you can always give okay so again this is the dynamic right multi select multi select means what multi select do you have idea so in the drop down you can select only one value in the multi select you can select more than one okay you can in the multi select you can always select values more than one okay that is the thing so you can always use this in the static as well as dynamic see here you are seeing right static options so just like the drop down i have we have seen right you can if you want to give static options you can always give static options over here okay by clicking add new you can each you can you can add each and every value name as the country name and value as the client ip name as city name like that you can always do different different combinations you can always give name and value pairs okay and again adding new again country name again ip address again country name again ip address like that you can always statically add the values that is static options so in order to give dynamic options how will how can you give we have write the query right similarly here also we have to write the same query okay what are the query we have wrote i have not copied that one okay let me write again index equals to underscore index source type equals to access combined w cookie okay so perhaps symbol i IP location client IP okay so table uh, table country client IP the loop country okay so this is the thing we have written earlier as well so now, now also the same thing we will be writing so this is for what this is for all time okay then only we'll be getting things and field for label what is the field for label just like this and uh, drop down only okay country okay country and field for value client type okay this is the thing you have to put and here in static one value we have to put which is the value all value even though we are configuring as dynamic okay we have to put all value as static only okay now again we have to come to the beginning and we have to default value we have select as so let me put all over here okay so now the now here in this uh, multi select what we have to do either is it static or dynamic okay what you have to do you have to configure the so apart from these things okay all these things are similar to drop down right so here in for multi select you have to configure token value prefix and token value suffix okay what is that token value prefix token value suffix and delimiter you, these three things you have to configure why because this is multi select right so in a query how you will be writing in a multi select value 1 or value 2 or value 3 like that in a query if you write then only we will be having the value selected so in order to get that thing what you have to do see preview it is showing splunk is already showing the preview so these are all combined we should not keep it like that so it should be in a sub in a clear format right so that's why here is a token value prefix will be giving as a double quote okay so let's see double quote will be appearing for this token value okay and uh, token value suffix also i will be giving a double quote okay so suffix always i will be giving a i will be having a double quote value and delimit delimiter which delimiter i have to use r is the delimited r okay r is the delimiter why r we have to select more than one right we have to select more than one if you want to select always always you have to write in a query okay whenever you are writing if you want to select more than one value you have to use r only okay please do remember okay so even then if you if you format this one with the uh, token value prefix so token value suffix and r value even then it is not in the proper format so if you put space over here in the delimiter okay before this one and after this one okay so now it is appearing in a clear format okay so have you seen over here it is appearing in a clear format now this is correct okay so all the things we have done we have given a label we have given a token we have given a default value 
we have configured dynamically okay we are given dynamic options we have given all of historic option and we also configured the token value prefix token value suffix and delimiter okay now if you click on apply see if you click on this one see all the values will be generated okay so now you can save this one okay and you can always and you can always edit this okay you can always edit this and you can just pass the what is the thing we have given over here ms underscore dynamic right so ms underscore dynamic is the option okay ms underscore dynamic dollar ms underscore dynamic okay so if we can apply this one if we save this one and you have to always refresh you have to put all value over here and you have to always refresh this one uh, you have to put all all value see because i am i want to show everything i am showing in a single thing okay so you can use multiple dashboards with using various inputs and all okay like that you can always practice okay so we'll be having and if you select see over here if you select some united kingdom some brazil okay some south korea okay so values pertaining to that one only i will be getting i have to remove this all see values pertaining to the united kingdom brazil and south korea see these things only i'm getting similarly if you want to get further things what we have to do from the back end if you want to do in the front end if you want to do you can always do just like what i have done for one thing i am showing in two ways okay for each and everything so that it will be you will be knowing the things okay that's the only thing uh, that's your wish you want to do from the front end you can always do or else if you want to go and do it from the back end you can always do as well okay that is the thing so here from here it will be starting okay so these are all the things that we have given for the drop downs okay those things will be appearing over here that's why you have to check the names okay geo look geo column panel like this you have to identify and then you have to copy it from here and you have to paste it in the other panels okay Save this one. See now everything will be configured with these three values only. Whatever we have given, okay. Whatever the country names we have given with these IP addresses, okay. Everywhere it is configured with these values only. See only here also, okay. This report also, United Kingdom, Brazil, South Korea, with these values only, it has just got. This panel is taking time, okay. And here as well, okay. Three values: one, two, three. Okay, these three values only we have got, okay. That is the thing. Like this, we can create n number of panels like this. Okay, 